This is the 1988 AP released exam for AB calculus. This is problem 43. The volume of the solid obtained by revolving the region closed by the ellipse x squared plus 9y squared equals 9 about the x-axis is. Now this is a problem that appears on the non-calculator portion of the test, or did appear in 1988. But this one really takes some doing. It really helps to know about what ellipses are, what the standard form of the equation of ellipse is. And we're going to take this equation right here, x squared plus 9y squared equals 9, and get this into standard form. Well, standard form for an ellipse is going to be an equals 1. So if we divide every term in this equation by 9, we're going to get exactly that, because we're going to get x squared over 9 equals um, plus y squared is equal to 1. And we can write this y squared as y squared over 1. We'll explain that. What you have is the denominator in this form is the semi major axis squared and what that means is if 9 is the semi major axis squared the semi major axis itself is going to be the square root of that or 3. And so going over to the sketch here, if we go 3 units to the right and 3 units to the left, we have the ex uh, horizontal extent of our ellipse. And over here, this 1 of the denominator is going to be the semi-minor axis squared. And what that means is our semi-minor axis minor axis is equal to 1. And so going up here to our coordinate plane, we put positive 1, negative 1. So that's the extent of our ellipse, the, the vertical boundaries and horizontal boundaries. Now we're going to take this equation here, which is x squared over 9 plus y squared over 1 equals 1. And we're going to solve for y. And so just starting that out, we're going to have y squared equals 1 minus x squared over 9. And now we're going to solve for y by taking the square root of both sides of the equation. So we get y is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 minus x squared over 9. Okay, so, and what we're going to do is take the top part of that equation, and I'm going to go ahead and the plus portion, I'm going to sketch that out here in green. So here we have the top half, we're just going to use the plus part. So there it is, and what we're going to do is rotate that top half about the x-axis. So our integral for this is going to be, uh, our volume is going to be pi times the integral with the limits of integration from negative 3 to 3 of this quantity here, 1 minus x squared over 9. 
and it's going to be dx. Now, one thing we're going to have to do is square this guy. So we're going to square. And so when we do that, we have our, I think I'm just going to work to the right here, and then below. And to make things easier, what I'm going to do is take, uh, I'm going to take this right half from 0 to 3 to just make the arithmetic a little easier. So I'm going to rewrite that as volume equals 2 pi, the integral from 0 to 3 of if we square the square root, we're going to get we're going to get one minus x squared over nine dx. And then going here to the to the lower left, I'm going to so that's kind of the the path. We're going to have our volume is equal to two pi. And taking the integral of 1, we're going to get x. And the integral of minus of x squared over 9 is going to be x cubed. And then we multiply that denominator by what we raise the power to. So we take this 9 in the denominator and make that a 27. And we evaluate this from 0 to 3. OK, and that's going to be equal to 2 pi. And we're going to have uh, 3 minus, we're going to have 3 squared, or 3 cubed, which is going to be 27 over 27. And that's going to be equal to 2 pi times 3 minus 1, or 2 pi times 2. So that's going to be 4 pi. So our answer is going to be B. Now, uh, normally on the non-calculator portion of the exam, you'll have an average of 2 minutes per problem. This is going to take longer than two minutes even under the best of circumstances but if it's a problem like this that you can do and you're familiar with ellipses enough to do that just go ahead and go for it it's going to be worth your time good luck on your ap exam and thanks for viewing